So this is 131 Walden Heights. The builder, when I had him on the phone, actually told me about this one. It has this little flex room at the beginning that you guys could probably use down the road as an office, maybe even as a kid's play area. You walk in, there's a nice little two-piece. And here's access to the garage. A little bit of an upgraded door in the garage because you got the three panels which uh, let in some light and it's insulated and drywalled. So this mudroom, got some little shelving here. It's got some nice dark 12 by 24 tile and this is your walk through pantry. Check out the kitchen. Nice and bright living space. It's south facing, so it's always going to be pretty bright. And you will get a sunny backyard. The cool thing about this one, down the road, if you wanted to, it actually has. Let me see if I can open this. Oh, there's got to be a stopper here, it looks like. Safety mechanism. Anyways. Let's see if we can squeak this through. There's a little walk up entrance. So, for future resale, you got a little bit of a walk out or walk up. And with the new mortgage rules, not the new mortgage rules, but with regards to the new mortgage rules and the city rules. Uh, with regards to secondary suites, that's going to be a little bit of a plus. So you'll see some property value increase just because of having that feature. This is real hardwood. You can see the natural color. It's a nice light, maybe even bleached or pickled, they would call it. Pickled hardwood. And you got quartz countertops on all your counters. So you got the microwave up here. Frigidaire. Glass cooktop. Frigidaire and Frigidaire, dishwasher and fridge. This has an upgraded Berber carpet, so it's nicer than the regular plush carpets. Pretty big master bedroom, a little different shape to the walk-in closet. And here's your master ensuite. No tub, just a two-person shower, one sink, one toilet. It's a little smaller master uh, ensuite, but a pretty big master bedroom. And a big yard, actually. You get a little bit bigger yard because it is slightly pie-shaped. You can see the neighbor already built a fence on one side. So you have one third of your fence done. Same cheap laundry. Quartz countertops tiled all the way up. and a pretty big bonus room. So the cool thing about this bonus room, there's the street that you're on. So you have lots of parking, lots of room for entertaining guests. People could park across the street. There's a fire hydrant that are parked too close to the fire hydrant, but if you ever had a lot of people over, you could have uh, two on the driveway, one or two in the garage, and then a couple across the street. So parking should never be an issue. And it looks like it's a nice location. Bedroom one, nice and rectangular shape. And standard closets. Bedroom two, same standard closet. Not a bad house. Um, I'll double check the price on this one. You got some decent upgrades. And a lot of this is really safe so you got a bigger yard pie shaped yard south facing yard both pluses nice and bright in the living spaces 
So you got a nice bright open house. This is Cardell built. Let's check out downstairs. So furnace room is nicely tucked away. You can have a nice bedroom here. You got nine foot ceilings again. Hallway right here and a bathroom on the other side of these posts. So a much better layout. So here you have a separate entrance, which is a nice feature. And they probably did this with the anticipation that the new mortgage rules were gonna change, which would make it easier to rent out and suite this type of basin. So you have a drain there. You got a couple stairs. I take you up. This alone would be like a fifteen thousand dollar upgrade, maybe a fifteen twenty thousand dollar upgrade on paper when the basement's finished. High efficiency furnace, a good fifty to sixty gallon water tank. You got this heat recovery exchange unit and the humidifier as well. So. Very nice basement layout. And that's about it. Front entrance again. This feature is a good feature to have. Uh, it's a nice flex room. You could use it for a lot of different things. So office would be the main. You could use it as a formal dining room. If somebody like uh, my wife had a home-based business and she wanted to do microblading, it's a good front entrance office so that people don't have to see the rest of the house. There you go. This is your exterior. Two different kinds of vinyl. This is aluminum. This is vinyl. You got exposed aggregate. You got a cover plate on your electrical outside, which is good. space between the houses and your house is already landscaped and ready to move in interestingly enough some houses have a lowered curb like this one and that one doesn't so that's a nice feature to have so you don't have to actually have a speed bump before you enter your garage nice house